Well, thank you so much, Dr. Jones. Uh, good evening, council members and community. Uh, thank you for joining us today for our second virtual budget presentation. Even as more of our community gets vaccinated, there are still many who are unprotected. We are so close to ending this pandemic, but need to keep masking and distancing a bit longer. Thank you to all our residents, businesses, and community members who have helped to keep one another safe throughout this pandemic. I'm pleased tonight to present my proposed fiscal year 2022 operating budget for Howard County government to you this evening. Despite the unprecedented challenges posed by the pandemic and the uncertain fiscal outlook, I'm proud that this proposed budget includes no tax increases and supports our collective priorities, including education, pandemic relief, and public infrastructure. Thank you to our residents, community organizations, and our council for your feedback and suggestions that we received to help produce this FY22 budget. I also want to thank and acknowledge the work of our Spending Affordability Advisory Committee, which provided us with valuable insight into the challenges and limitations we currently face. By leveraging different funding sources, this proposed budget delivers on supporting the following priorities of our administration. Supporting residents, businesses, and organizations as they endure the pandemic and the impacts that come with it. Providing a record $633 million to the Howard County Public School System, including county funding at $20 million above the legislatively mandated maintenance of effort level, the highest above MOE amount in the past seven years, despite a 2.8% drop in student enrollment during the current year. $10 million in one-time funding to reduce the school system health fund deficit, potentially allowing for the elimination of the deficit by the end of FY 2021, after the deficit had reached over $39 million at the end of FY 19. Utilizing fund balance from prior surplus to address a variety of needs, such as supporting critical infrastructure projects and initiatives while preserving our debt capacity, investing in the financial health of our school system, and dedicating resources to continuing to address the health and economic impacts of this pandemic. Launching the new body-worn camera program to enhance public safety transparency and accountability. Providing nine new positions to our Sheriff's Office to staff our new courthouse, providing operational support. The proposed FY 2022 operating budget for all funds totals $1.88 billion, a 6.7% increase from the FY 2021 budget. The general fund, which supports the majority of government services, totals $1.26 billion. Excluding the use of fund balance, the FY 2022 general fund budget increases by 2.8% over FY 2021. The proposed budget also uses $59.1 million in fund balance from prior surplus to support one-time initiatives, and those include $30.3 million for public infrastructure, such as road resurfacing, school site acquisition, repairing sidewalks, and expanding the East Columbia 50-plus center. $5.2 million for pandemic assistance, including supporting our nonprofits, 
our health department, and our small local businesses. And $5 million to provide seed funding, supporting the creation of a Housing Opportunities Trust Fund. These one-time funds also support education, housing, and other public service initiatives. And this budget heavily reflects our priorities as Howard County continues to respond to and emerge from this pandemic. County government has worked to expand services for those in need, supported by federal CARES Act funding, other federal and state aid, and a $6.5 million emergency mid-year appropriation to provide county pandemic relief funding when the federal government failed to provide a second stimulus this past December. And I want to thank the County Council for your leadership and support of that. In FY22, we will continue to leverage federal and state pandemic relief funding, including the American Rescue Plan for Pandemic Relief and Economic Recovery. Howard County is poised to receive a total of $63.1 million in American Rescue Plan funds, with half of those funds scheduled to be distributed within the coming weeks, and the remaining half to be provided a year after receiving the first half of the funding. As I mentioned, this budget continues to prioritize education, including record high funding for special education, a community that has faced immense challenges during the past year. Last November, our administration provided nearly $6 million in CARES Act funding to our local school system to offset expenses related to virtual instruction, provide health and safety equipment to protect our students, staff, and facilities, and provide meals for students and families who are food insecure. The federal government also continues to provide critical pandemic relief support to the school system through several iterations of the Elementary and Secondary School Relief Act, or ESSR. Our school system was provided $13.7 million through the ESSR-1 grant, which passed Congress in March of 2020. In addition, with subsequent federal action in December of 2020 and March of 2021, Howard County Public Schools stand to receive over $60 million more in federal funding from the ESSR program in the coming months. This will provide critical support as Howard County Public Schools continue to adapt to an, adjust, an adjusted learning model moving into the future. Additional educational funding includes $37.5 million for Howard, County, Howard Community College, $22.4 million for our Howard County Library System, and $750,000 for HOCO Strives Educational Initiative. In addition to the major priorities I've outlined, there are many other important initiatives we're investing in this year. In FY22, we're continuing our efforts to create safe transportation routes to schools, address road resurfacing, and expand our transit opportunities. Transit continues to be a priority for our administration with $3 million proposed in the FY22 operating budget for transit operations, allowing Howard County to return service to normal levels beginning July 1st, 2021, despite continued reductions in state grants and lower fare revenues. This funding builds upon the $3.7 million in CARES Act funding from the Federal Transit Administration that were used to offset costs related to personnel, uh, personal protective equipment, the installation of barriers for buses, additional cleaning and reductions in state grants for operating and capital. Multiple initiatives are included 
in the FY22 proposed budget to strengthen our support to health, housing, and other community services, such as a million dollars in PAYGO funding to support COVID response activities at the health department, $510,000 in operating funding for Howard County General Hospital, funding for two critical vacant positions, consumer protection manager and disability manager at the Department of Community Resources and Services, $32,000 in PAYGO to implement our AARP age-friendly plan, and providing business support continues to be a top priority of our administration. In fact, during the coronavirus pandemic, our focus has been on supporting local businesses through a challenging economic period by effectively using federal, state, and county resources to sustain activity and provide the resources needed to emerge from the pandemic. This includes $1 million in a new loan program that will be launched through EDA to provide access to capital for small and local businesses, $615,000 to support downtown Columbia Arts and Culture, including Meriwether Post Pavilion and the Inner Arbor Trust, $78,000 in funding will be used to hire consultants for gateway infrastructure. We continue to also focus on ensuring a clean and sustainable environment for our residents, businesses, and visitors. Our Central Fleet Division will implement a new Green Fleet Policy, which, targets, which has targets at reducing petroleum fuel consumption in the county's fleet by 20% over FY 2019 levels by 2024. Other green initiatives include $52,000 to modernize our green infra infrastructure network, evaluating and updating the existing map, as well as $90,000 in PAYGO to enhance the county's climate action plan, providing a comprehensive greenhouse gas inventory to measure the success of mitigation and community adaptation strategies compared to our prior plan. Finally, our budget continues to emphasize the value of innovative and efficient government. In my FY22 proposed budget, we include a third wave of innovation grants focused on the needs emerging from the pandemic and allowing for modernization throughout Howard County. And funding for two priority vacancies to support IT needs, including a data analytics manager and a network security engineer. I want to thank the County Council for your collaboration and leadership, and the public for your input in developing the budget in this difficult time. I also wish to thank all of our county employees for your hard work and dedication to our community, residents, and businesses. Through careful planning and thoughtful discussion, we've created our largest operating budget to date with no tax increases for our residents or businesses. Despite the unprecedented challenges we're facing, we're looking forward to providing quality services that continue to meet the needs of all residents and businesses in our county. I look forward to working with you throughout this budget process, and again, thank you.